French River. July 28th, 2020. This boat is paddling itself, it seems. I'm not solo on this trip. I brought some girl with me. Some girl. <laughs> that is my wife, Judy. Maybe I'll title this uh, video, How to Canoe Trip with Your Wife. <laughs> For beginners. <laughs> 101. <laughs> we launched from Hartley Bay Marina. It's uh, quite a southwest wind that we're gonna have to deal with as we are heading west right now and we'll, we'll have to turn south through Big Wanapate Bay. And uh, once we get down there, um, we'll have to contend with the south wind. So we'll see how that goes. Today's supposed to be the windiest of the days that we're here, which is five days total. Uh, it's Tuesday right now and we're here until Saturday. So come along with us for this journey. It should be fun. See how this goes uh, paddling with my wife. When we made our turn south into Big Wanapate Bay, we were met with ferocious headwinds. This was Judy's first time paddling on a canoe trip in her entire life. It very quickly became an exhausting ordeal. Ow! Keep on hitting the same... Oh! The distance we needed to cover to reach our first campsite was only 8 kilometers, but each paddle stroke took all of our strength. Oh, you're seeing me in my glory. <laughs> <laughs> At her best. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm feeling a little exhausted. Mm -hmm. We are almost to the main channel of the French River. We're going to start turning west, and but we're going to have a big water paddle to deal with. Uh, to get across there, it might be a kilometer or so of hard paddling, and then we'll be pretty leeward. So, yeah, I gotta swing this around. All right, last challenge, hon. You got this. Can you just paddle me over there? That'd be great. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, we even went on an angle like this. That's okay. why I got a prospector. Big water like this, big waves. Yeah. Totally. Well, I feel stable in it. It's definitely the safest boat out there. Oh, after that adventure of a paddle, through that chop that you saw. We have arrived at site 618 and we are gonna stay here. Whee! Probably flip out of it or cut. This should be entertaining. Yikes! Okay. I won't be moving anytime soon. All right, sounds good. Uh, Canoe tripping with your wife. So our put in is down there. A little bit of a walk down to the water, but it's a nice little trail. We've got a nice fire pit here. It's quite a big site. It's got a few tent pads on it. So that's the Mech Tarn 3 back there. And we're gonna try and sleep through tonight without the rain cover on just because it's supposed to be a nice night. Makeshift table. And this is my first experience with the food barrel and it was uh, nice and easy to pack. So. I'm happy to have it. We are on the French River, so there's gonna be fishing boats passing by us every now and then. Um, and to the west here is uh, the main channel of the French. And so we wanna head that direction tomorrow and start heading down the Western Channel towards the, uh, the Voyager Channel over there and the old Voyager Channel. And uh, there's a beach site over there, I think it's 708. We hope to check that out and maybe stay there for the uh, next three nights. But for now, we were definitely done paddling because as you saw, it was a really rough paddle. Um, coming across the bay and especially the very south end of the bay where this other channel was here. The south wind was just ripping up through there. Um, and then also the wind was coming around here from the west side and so all the waves were just smashing into each other right in this mouth section here. So we had quite a paddle but uh, Judy did really really good. I'm very proud of her. Oh. You feel like a nice million dog. bucks? Dirty sweaty husband.
Well, now that the wind has calmed down, it's turned into a very beautiful evening. It's uh, 20 to 9. Judy and I sat out here and uh, just kind of took in the beauty of what's around us. And she had a tea and I had some wine. And yeah, it's a very beautiful place, well worth coming to. Tomorrow we head west and who knows what's going to happen then. Who knows how far we'll make it. I have no idea if we'll get as far as I'd like to get. I don't know if I'll end up seeing the, uh, the Voyager channel on this trip or not. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, we're gonna call it a night, so night night. Beginning the westward trek. Into the wind. Judy is so excited for this challenge. So excited. So excited. Looking forward to seeing what's around this bend. The morning of day two began with a more gentle paddle than we had experienced the day before. We were able to take in the stunning beauty of this river as we meandered along. But when we made the turn south towards Georgian Bay, that same ferocious headwind was waiting for us, and it relentlessly hammered us all the way until we reached the sanctuary of our beach site, 708. This is site 708, and it is a beauty, an absolute beauty with a beautiful sand beach. That's looking to the southwest down the channel. Just have a little step up here. And here we are, got a decent uh, tent pad there, and there's two more tent pads back there, so there's room for two good sized tents and one smaller tent right there. A huge wall of a fire pit here. Some tables over yonder, and a thunder box back around there. The French is now like glass after that rain. The winds have totally died. It's beautiful now. Yes. Hi. I'm going up for an evening fish in this beautiful, beautiful calm spell that we have here. And girl back there is gonna chill out. Uh, she deserves a good rest after what I have put her through. <laughs> Look at how calm this is out here. Can it please be this calm tomorrow? What do you want to go? I would love for it to be this calm tomorrow. When we hope to paddle to the channels. But come for a little paddle with me tonight. Hopefully catch some fish.
things like this are precious and few. We do not have them very often. morning 1106 we've had a good leisurely morning breakfast and coffee hot chocolate the winds have shifted to out of the north but uh, very slight not very drastic at all so we decided today is the day we're going on the adventure down to Georgia Bay through the old Voyager Channel and then back up through uh, the channel that's directly to the east of it I don't think it has an official name that I know of um, the report that I read calls it the Mills Channel so we're going to check that out and uh, spend some time down there today. Hopefully get out to Georgian Bay and see that. Hi. She's here, ready to rock. Back. She washed her hair. You can see the crazy colors in it. Oh. It's Look at that free flowing silky. hair. It's just <laughs> unreal. It's the soft water here, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are entering the old Voyager Channel. And it just looks beautiful. Class threes here. Ah! This will be like a ride. Hands up! Here we go! <laughs> oh, this is so intense! So intense. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> that is fun though, eh? That's a blast. You didn't have to do a single thing, eh? No. Just steering or whatever? Just steered a little bit. Fun. The beauty is just on another level. It's so gorgeous.
you doing, hunt? I'm setting sail. Are you? Or just drying your towel? It, well, that too, I guess, but my main thing was, I think we're going faster. <laughs> Do you? channel that we took just to the east of the old Voyager channel joins back up with the northern half of the Voyager channel and we're about to join in with that now. Another beautiful way up. Looky looky who have I found in my hammock? Who's been sleeping in my bed? What are you working on, Judy? Ah, pizzas for supper. And little mini pizzas. So I wonder if you call these more of calzones or, or not. I'm not sure, but flatbread on top and bottom with all the toppings spread throughout the middle. And that worked out really good. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm psyched to eat this thing. So now Judy's making one for herself. Goodness, it smells so good too. Can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't turn up very good, did they? <laughs> oh man. They are amazing. So good. They are so good. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. Again, the wind has totally died, and it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. So, just like last night, Judy's gonna stay back and relax on the beach. I'm gonna go cast a line. Last night uh, I uh, just had one fish on, on a tube jig that came off. I don't know what it was, I didn't see it. I'm assuming it was a small mouth. It was near a rock and there's a tube jig, so. But uh, that was it. No strikes on top water or anything, but uh, I'll keep trying. It's just such a beautiful time to be out on the canoe right now. folks it's the morning of day four and beautiful morning again thankfully I thought it'd be a good time to show you on the map the uh, where the campsites are that we've been staying so that you can enjoy them for yourself so here we go so our starting point was Hartley Bay right there and we paddled up through here we paddled down through Wanapate Bay we tucked in behind all these islands to try and avoid the wind but it was still a very difficult paddle coming down Wanapate Bay in the southwest wind and then we went across here and we stayed on site 618 that was our first site on night number one and then on day number two we paddled from there all the way down here 
through these narrows, McCallum's narrows. We made the round, uh, we went around the bend here and made our turn southwest. We stopped for lunch actually at site 732 on an island and uh, I wouldn't recommend it to stay unless you have just a little solo tent or a hammock because there was only one little tiny tent pad there and it was on a very rough spot so avoid that one if you can. And then we paddled down through here and now we're on site 708 which is down on the western channel. Then yesterday we went on a adventure so we continued down the western channel and we hit these fingers here, all these little channels. I just call them the Voyager channels. I don't know what the name actually is. But we went down through here. We went down the old Voyager channel here to this point, this east-west cross channel. We went over here into Georgian Bay and then back up. And then we came up the channel just to the east of the old Voyager channel and then back up to Site 708. So that's where we were. If you have any questions about um, the sites specifically that we were on, um, or the channels that we did or anything like that, just uh, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. We've seen a lot of canoes go by. Um, I think 10, 10 or 11 canoes we've seen go by already, so it's pretty neat. A lot of people are getting out for the long weekend. Civic long weekend, first weekend of August. So there's a lot of people out on the French River. So we're glad we got here midweek uh, when we did to claim this beach site. Because uh, if we had no, I'm sure it would be taken. I have not had much luck fishing. I've just gone out uh, in the evenings the last couple nights and um, I just got one dinky pike last night. Um, and I saw a big pike actually. Oh. I just said I didn't catch any catch anything and I just caught one. <laughs> I think it's a pike. Not a big one either. Yeah. And it just came off. Perfect. <laughs> but I saw a big pike last night actually. Um, he took a few lazy swipes at my spook here. Just very lazily. He was not in a aggressive mood at all. It's probably more just out of annoyance that he was swiping at it. But uh, I was expecting largemouth to come out of these grass patches here. But uh, I haven't seen a single largemouth, so don't really know what to say. I'm going to keep trying though. That's all I've caught so far. Little snot rockets. have a sudden change of plans that we are going to do. Um, the winds have changed from north to south. They've done a complete 180. It seems like the winds here just have a complete mind of their own and they just do whatever they want to do. Tonight was our last night and we were going to paddle out tomorrow, um, but it looks like there is going to be a bit of a north wind tomorrow and we'd be paddling against it for about 18 kilometers. So since this uh, wind has done a 180 and is now out of the south and it would now be a tailwind, we're going to pack up and uh, we're going to head back towards Hartley Bay and it's possible if we come to a site maybe halfway back or something that we like we'll just camp there for the night or if we decide we'll just go all the way back to Hartley Bay we'll go all the way back today and uh, maybe just get a hotel for the night or something so yeah a little bit of a change but it's gonna be a fun adventure and the missus is up for it for sure she's up for the tailwind so it makes sense take advantage of it when you can right so anyways I might be just checking out now Judy how was your canoe trip experience I love it. It started off with like me being a little frustrated. <laughs> she actually said, I just want you to know I'm really frustrated. Like I said it with a lot of oomph because I was, I was really yeah. quite angry. That was when we were paddling down here heading south into the uh, headwind. So that was the second so day of, of crazy chop and headwind. So it was very rough, but uh, she handled it very well. But. <laughs> Now she gets, workout. yeah, and now she gets to paddle in a tailwind. So we're gonna take advantage of it, and we're packing up and heading out. So thank you so much for coming along. I really appreciate it. 
hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoyed having the missus along. And guys, get your wife out for a canoe trip. High five. High five.